This is a short tutorial on how to use Adobe Express to create your Lawn Society video. So we're going to start with video and once you select that you'll get your sort of work station all set up here. And what I'm going to do first is find the video that I want to upload. This is why it helps to have your files all labeled and organized. Um, this is just my voiceover uh, video. Uh, which I'm going to crop because I don't want to get all that background to distract. And so I'm just going to make this like uh, the size of a TikTok. You know, I can adjust it here and move it around. And then once I've got the crop that I like, I just hit enter and that will crop the rest of it out. Now, if you want to, you can remove that background and just be a floating head. Uh, it takes a little while for the remove background icon to come up and then it takes a little while for the uh, background to be removed. I'm speeding forward this so you don't have to wait through this. But uh, once it does, you can have your background removed like that and just be kind of a floating head in the space. Again, um, you can adjust the size and location so that you can put the uh, text or the images that you want on the video. And so here, I'm just going to create my little title page right here. I can select, you know, play around with the size, select different fonts here, um, and try to make it look nice. I can also just grab it and adjust that way and reposition. Adobe Express makes it really easy to just kind of manipulate the page to get what you want. What Adobe Express doesn't make easy is uh, when you want to change what's on that screen. And so the workaround I found for this is just to copy uh, the, the clip that I have there and then just delete what I want to delete. So here I am, I'm just going to copy that. Here's the next one. And I just have to find out, uh, you know, locate the place where the first clip ended and where the second clip starts so that I can um, take out that text as I'm doing here and replace it with an image. And so what I'm going to do again is go into my files. I'm going to look for the image that I want to place there. Um, and again, this is why it helps to have all those files in one location. And so here's the image that I want. I'm going to enter that. But you can see I'm doing this on a new timeline in the bottom. And I'm going to have to just sync those timelines uh, together later uh, when so I want a continuous sort of speech um, and again with images I can adjust make it bigger smaller move it around the page um, and this is my workaround for how to kind of replace that background image uh, when I need to the case involved right now was rejected from the university 